All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for staying tuned and hopping into today's video. Today's video, like I was saying before, is the HMG, probably the most versatile rod and reel combo that is on the market out there. It is the HMG Inshore combined with the Pen Battle 3. The reason why, what makes these rods and reels special? What makes this combo the best? I'm about to tell you right now. So First and foremost, one of the top things is the price point. The price point on these things is awesome. It is a great pickup. So if you're lucky like me, you can go through and pick up one of these combos for $89.99. They had a huge discount and that is why I purchased a bunch of them. That being said, this is probably one of those rod and reel combos that you can get for discounted. That is what makes this awesome. On top of that, it's gonna retail for approximately a hundred some odd dollars, 150, maybe that $200 range. That makes it for an awesome, awesome price point as HMGs alone now are selling for $130 and the pen battles can be a hundred to $130 as well. So both those combinations create this beast. Why is this awesome? So the sizes, let's start with that. The sizes of these rods are what I think makes it very versatile and very beneficial to a lot of people out there so this first size here is the 3000 size that 3000 and then this size over here in this side and my left hand is going to be the 4000 size why are those crucial sizes in my opinion so why are those crucial sizes on the channel if you watch the channel for a long time you've probably seen me fish with a lot of 2500 sizes and then if we go offshore a lot of big gear right I believe that these sizes allow you to do a little bit of both. Are they going to be the best at both? No, but if you're a, if you're bowing on a budget, which a lot of people these days are, this makes for a great mid-range thing. This 3000 size, I could easily go through a jig head on this. I could easily go through a top water. I could easily go through pretty much anything I want to throw inshore wise as this rod here is a seven foot medium fast action so this rod right here being a seven foot medium fast high medium fast action means that i can do pretty much everything that my in four combos do in fact most i actually have one of these rods just the rod and it's the medium light or the light edition those i mean you can do the same thing with this it's just going to be a little bit more stout reason number two why i love this is here a lot of rigs this 3000 size allows me to use a ton of line. So typically what I'm gonna use for line is gonna be 15 to 20 pound test. So right here, right at 15 pound test, well, let's just do 20, is 180 yards of braid. So you can have a huge capacity of braid to where pretty much no inshore fish is gonna be taking you and spooling you. A lot of those fish down south, maybe a snook, maybe a tarpon, it might challenge us a little bit and if you get some bigger stuff it probably will challenge you but that's why you got that 4000 so that makes for a great great reel capacity wise to do carolina rigs whatever i'm bait fishing i like a little bit stouter rod anyway so that makes it a great very versatile bait rod as well number three with this is these are the perfect sizes to go offshore bottom fishing and i'm not referring to some of the bigger stuff though you can be done if you beef up the maybe the pound test a little bit you could probably catch some bigger fish on these but i'm talking about a lot of the bottom fishing that most people are going to do when they go offshore is going to be for black black sea bass maybe some trigger fish maybe some snappers maybe um maybe some smaller groupers some of that you know smaller grouper realms those kind of bottom fish runs these are great they have that sensitivity to them to allow you to continue to go and fish and feel sensitive bites but has a good backbone to bring those fish up and out so that's why those are just some of the reasons why i love this now the 4000 here 
it is all but a medium heavy so same size rod it is a seven foot for both of these this one's a medium heavy for the 4000 and then a medium medium for the 3000 but it just allows for such versatility i'm going to be rolling some clips as you watch this video that just show the versatility of this of course a lot of this is going to catch the black sea bass a lot of these are going to be using this particular jig here or a bucktail where it's you know that ounce to maybe two ounce range but really that ounce kind of ounce and a quarter range is mostly what you're going to do with this great for keeping bottom contact on most of that shallow water fishing awesome great thing about this as well is no need to fear if you need to rig up a casting spoon or a casting you want to have a pitch bait rod these can make for a great pitch bait slash casting rod as well being that they have the line capacity it's a light enough rod to where you can cast fairly light lures a long distance which makes them very versatile even offshore these are one of the combos i believe that will be probably the most versatile the best bang for your buck and honest to god the best product for you to get to keep on your boat no matter if you're an inshore fisherman offshore fisherman or like to do both i think it just fits the niche very very well i traditionally do not have a lot of 3000 4000 sizes because inshore fishermen that doesn't really make all of the sense when you're trying to make the furthest cast possible. It's not impossible to catch fish on these, but it does make it to where I like those little bit smaller ones. This is a great fit for some of those Carolina rigs though, because some of those smaller rods are just too wispy, uh, a half an ounce you know, weight for an egg weight. It's just a little bit on the heavier side for what I want to cast. These guys fit in that mill perfectly. So. Honestly, these are probably one of the best combos you can get as far as versatility and honestly, the longevity of them. You know, let's face it, in my opinion, recently my experience has been that I spend two, three hundred dollars on a reel and it lasts just about as good and as well as a hundred dollar reel. The Shimano Nasi or Nasty depends on what you what you want to call it, as well as the battles were great and you know over time you're gonna have to buy new ones anyway so for me I, i'm almost at the point where i'd much rather spend a hundred dollars on a reel than two hundred dollars on a reel that maybe i get a, a season and a half before i start having problems with it so these will be linked in the in the description below as well but also guys i just wanted to shout out wise guys tackle here they have been supporting the channel since pretty much the get-go so love them definitely check out the link in the description below. Go get you some great soft plastics at good pricing as well as American made products there. So check out Wise Guys Tackle. It's in the description. Same with the link to these rods and reel purpose. Check them out below. Fish now for you later. If you've not seen this video, please check it out as well as the video right below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We're on the route to go through and get to none other than the thousand subscribers. Let's go guys.